The Catholic Church is opening up part of its secret archives for the public to see in an interesting new exhibit. Greg Burke gives us a deeper look from Rome. Vatican secret archives, a vast treasure of documents that span some 12 centuries, have now become a little less secret. An exhibit called Lux in Arcana, Light Out of the Depths, has opened in Rome's Capitoline Museums. Thanks in part to Dan Brown's Angels and Demons and the Da Vinci Code, there's lots of interest in the Vatican archives, though church officials note that novels are one thing and the archives something else. Dan Brown's books are lots of fun and very easy to read. The kind of thing you bring to the beach in the summer, under the umbrella. But this exhibit is no trip to the beach. It's full of very serious stuff, including the fires of hell. That's where heretics ended up if they didn't repent. The exhibit features 100 different items, and organizers say the goal is to do away with the secrets. We want lots and lots of young people and everyday people to come here with their own idea of the archives and to leave knowing what the Vatican secret archives are really all about. The exhibit includes proceedings from Galileo's trial, a letter from Lucrezia Borgia, who was the daughter of Pope Alexander VI, and ballots the cardinals used to cast their votes at a conclave. Among the more interesting pieces, the deed of abdication of Queen Christina of Sweden, a formidable and eccentric woman for whom it was more important to be Catholic than to be queen. This exhibit has already had quite a bit of success, and part of the reason is where these documents come from, not just the Vatican archives, but the Vatican secret archives. That word secret certainly conjures up all sorts of ideas of mystery. In Rome, Greg Burke, Fox News.